don't know where to sit. <laughs> I need one of these theatre cushions for little children because I'm too short. Dear Lily, I am back and I'm actually back with two videos. So I wanted to do a little life update Q&A thingy but then all the Q&A questions I got were so random that I decided to do a life update and a Q&A. So um, here I am. So yeah, I kind of just thought I'd talk you through things that have been happening lately because um, well, we do talk a lot, we Snapchat a lot but um, right now you're just so busy with getting ready for Hairspray which is opening in a week. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little update for you to watch so you'll know what's happening in my life. Mm. So yeah, it's mid-April, which means I've been in London for two months now. Still loving it, um, still loving my room as well. As you can see, I put these fairy lights up. Um, my other fairy lights broke, so now you can't have them. I hope that's okay. Um, I am still self-employed. I have two projects now that I do from home. I'm the digital marketing project manager for um, the Outdoor Blogger Network and then I also do the social media for an event called Ping Festival, Ping F Business Festival that's happening in Finland um, on the 8th of May which brings me to another topic um, and question as you know I've got flights to Finland for next week to see you um, in Hairspray at the opening night but now I also have to come to Finland during the first week of May for Ping and I'm not quite sure if it makes that much sense to literally fly to Finland, fly back, um, be here for a week and then come back to Finland again, especially because I have to pay for the flights myself. Um, uh, so I kind of wanted to ask you what you think. Do you really, really want me there during your opening night because then I'll obviously come? Or would it be enough if I come during week three? I'm coming to Finland anyway then. Let me know what you think. So what did I want to tell you? What has happened during the past two months? Oh, so last night um, I went to see The Mousetrap, um, which is a play based on Agatha Christie's um, murder mystery. It's the West End's longest running show. It has been running for 66 years, so it's... Um, a group of people all staying at this manor and then someone gets killed and they'll try to figure out who it was um, and yeah I, I really enjoyed it it was quite an intimate theatre and I don't know just very English very traditional um, but very very good and I really enjoyed it and because it was the anniversary we got to go backstage as well so I got to go onto a West End stage um, and I love that all the special effects were still done the same way as they were done 66 years ago, so everything was done manually. Um, I don't know, it was just, it was just brilliant. Um, you would have really enjoyed that as well. Um, what else? As you know, I went to see Carrie Hope Fletcher, my biggest idol, um, in her first ever own concert. I actually went twice because it was so good. Um, so Carrie is... A musical theatre performer, amazing singer, but also blogger, vlogger, um, and author, only 25 years old, insane. Um, and I just adore her so much because she's a very empowering woman, she um, wants girls to believe in themselves and I just admire her. And yeah, when she sang The Wizard and I from Wicked, I cried <laughs> both times. <laughs> um, I don't know. Talent makes me very emotional and Wicked makes me very emotional and so does Carrie. <laughs> Speaking of Carrie, oh my god, I almost forgot about this. Lily, I've got a surprise for you. Um, so, as you know, as the other viewers don't know yet because I never uploaded that video from before Christmas, I have to get my vlogging mojo back or my editing mojo because I've got a couple of brilliant videos that I never edited, never uploaded, but I definitely should. So as you know Lily, we're going to California in June and you'll be flying via London. We don't have the flights yet, we'll have to book them soon, but now, <laughs> now we'll have to um, be in London on the 13th of June 
because I got you and me tickets to Heather's, the musical here in London. Um, I know how much you love Heather's, you know how much I love Carrie, Carrie will be in it, so I got us tickets for the third row in the centre, right in front of the stage, on the 13th of June. So, you're very welcome. <laughs> Now we just have to um, book and plan our flights and California trip accordingly, so we'll be in London on that day. Um, but I'm very excited. You know, the website crashed this morning um, when they announced that Carrie will be in it, um, because so many people went and booked, and that's also why I didn't want to wait any longer. Um, now we just have to, I don't know, plan everything around um, the 13th of June. But looking forward to that <laughs> um what else um i still dance um a lot i don't know i used to think an hour per day was a lot nowadays i dance one to four hours every single day of the week um which brings me up to 14 hours per week and i don't even know why and as you know already but i'm so proud of this because it's been on my it's been on my secret bucket list. It's been a thing that I didn't really want to admit because I thought it's never ever gonna happen anyway, but. <clears throat> I know, dance on point. Yes, um, I've been on point for about a month in ballet and um, my teachers asked me to demonstrate things in front of the entire class because you didn't know I was a beginner um, and it makes me very, 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 very proud and it's been a dream and it's come true and I love it very much. <laughs> My teacher's also brilliant. He's 72 years old, he's been a principal dancer most of his life and now he just teaches because he enjoys teaching so much and he's danced in so many countries that he speaks five languages fluently and he always speaks German to me. <laughs> um, yeah, you and I are going to see Carrie again in... Heathers, um, so get ready for that, and um, then, yeah, as of this week, we now know that you'll be coming to London end of August as well to do Western Stage, um, the musical theatre summer programme here, so that's exciting, and let's also try to find you a summer job here, how about that, then you could just stay here from June to August. If anyone knows summer jobs for 17 year olds in London, please let us know. Oh, and one more thing before I go, Lily, go listen to Carrie's album, please. It's definitely on iTunes, I'm not sure, it might be on Spotify. It is brilliant. She has um, a duet with Oliver Orson as well, I know you love him. So, go check it out. Please do it. Bye! Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, be careful with that one, love. He will do what it takes to survive.